couple sets of dreams that I haven't read yet. Um, been seeing images of pink with black outline of brains. Word Indian, Injun, and Cajun. An expanding circle like linked to a nuclear blast. This is all from the 1st of January. Um, cat being tortured. That wasn't a dream. That was just a note that my cat was being tortured in her ears. Um, <clears throat> okay. Oops, there goes a billion kilowatt dam. <clears throat> Thinking about the tone of my grandma, Shirley's voice in the 1940s versus my Aunt Pat Lindquist. I don't know what that's about exactly. Pat Lindquist would have been a you know, baby or child in the 40s. But um, that song about the fish that <laughs> swam over the dam <clears throat> is probably one of those songs that is much darker than it appears at first. Um, but I think the kilowatt, that's kind of one of the things that got me thinking about that radio station, KLLL -L -L in Lubbock, Texas. And K they go K-L-L-L-F-M, which is like a dream I had in Minneapolis where it says, what do you do with your kids? Kill them. All you have to do is move the, you know, the bottom of the L over and it becomes kill them rather than K-L-L-L-F-M. Okay, this, the reason I'm going to read these is because, um, just in case it does matter, it should matter, somebody's given cancer on purpose. So, holes like Swiss cheese, image of holes like Swiss cheese. So I've been getting these images of rolls of, rows of holes like this, which I guess are symbolic of the twin murders, assassinations. I keep talking about this and people just keep not caring or they just like it and they just get cars and they like it. Um... Maybe they're under mind control, but if they're under mind control, then we how do we stop that? Um, this could be linked with Chris in all different kinds of ways. So he, Chris, oh my God, he's such a sweet person. I just feel horrible what's been done, this evil that's been done to him. It's so horrible. Um... And he went in, he's so trusting. Honestly, he's very trusting. Just like my daughter's trusting. Because I didn't know that the world was this evil. I mean, I didn't know that we lived in such an evil world. If I did, I don't know how I would have raised her differently. Because, I mean, I don't, I would have raised her differently. I, would have, I wouldn't have raised her to trust anybody. Not her father, not my mom. I mean, I didn't necessarily actually raise her to trust my mom. But, um... I didn't know how badly I couldn't trust my mom um, by a long shot. I thought that she was basically a decent person. Um, but I knew she wasn't. I knew I always knew she kind of wasn't, she wasn't reliable, but I always thought it was sort of like something that she couldn't help. I didn't realize that it was like a calculated evil. I can't speak about how I don't want to spend too much time trying to understand her anyway, because it really doesn't matter at this point. What matters is like my life, not her deep psychology, psychological meanings. Um, but anyways, okay. So Chris goes into the hospital for his heart issues and they serve him this um, scrambled eggs with um, spinach and Swiss cheese. And he just loves it so much. He wants to come and keep eating it and eating it and eating it. So now, few months later you know half a year later they say you've got cancer you know, terminal cancer which is what I've been trying to escape this whole time saying please get us out of here please get us out of here um and I'm still in danger you know he's still in danger but you know I'm also in danger 
if it matters to anybody. Um, I just saw a blue dot on the wall. So they say, they told him that the cancer that they saw looked like um, Swiss cheese, had holes like Swiss cheese. So was he being forced, beamed into the brain to like obsess over the Swiss cheese meal because he wanted to eat it every day? His food choices have really, I think, been manipulated heavily. He's just been treated so badly, like so, so, so badly, so badly. He shouldn't have had asthma. He shouldn't have been overweight. He shouldn't have had other physical manipulations that were done to him and a lot. He shouldn't have had some of the diseases that he's had. He shouldn't have been a drug addict. He shouldn't, none of that should have happened. That was all done to him. The word coronavirus, number three. Someone yelling something like a warning, surprise. His daughter and radiation. Um... The song Pink Floyd, Mother, Do You Think They'll Drop the Bomb? Idea of a gamer, a girl's face, brown hair. I think she looks a little like um, Sylvia Fosna, but she doesn't really. Maybe, but she looks like a familiar girl. I don't know why I linked her with Sylvia Fosna. Maybe she looked like her sister. I don't know what Sylvia's sister looked like or anything. Um, or maybe Sylvia's a younger child. The name Drew Carey and the word laborers. I'm not sure what that was about. But um, Fosna... Might have been a laborer family. It seems like Fosner was was targeted partly because they were immigrants and partly because they were laborers. Considered throwaway people. Um, his daughter and radiation, I think this is about Willie. It's not clear to me what Willie knows about. I mean, does he not know what was done to Brooke? That would be hard to believe, considering how much he knows. Led Zeppelin, maybe Led Zeppelin Army. So I think it's the idea of Led Zeppelin, meaning a balloon, a lead, L-E-A-D, <laughs> but also L-E-D, like um, you're leading someone around. It's interesting that these lights are called LEDs now. Something army, happy holy days, houses of the holy, and then mixing a holy and holly. The word tiki and the word ticking. Oh, I didn't even get this until just now. This has to do with the Grenfell Tower. So the Grenfell Tower fire was seen as something ritual. It was a ritual. Sacrifice. That's what that's my sense, right? But with this the way this is put. But it's also all these implants in our bodies, right? All these implants in our bodies are it's like the 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 ticking on the um or whatever they called it, cladding. They called it tag adding or ticking is also like a ticking clock um we're solid research and now it's just a matter of time and so i see a black spot so you know obviously whoever was sending me these dreams knew a lot more about what was going on than i do and you know they're still not getting all the information because then we see a breast right so you know i have implants all around my breasts i know i'm in danger of cancers I know I have known for some time. I keep thinking we're going to get out. Mandala shaped designs. It's keeping you in prison through um, spacing out on mandalas or whatever. Images linked to COVID-19. I just feel, you know, this system is not working. Um, I mean, it might be working for keeping a system of power in place illegitimately forever. 
but it's not working in the way that they've advertised that it's supposed to work. And it, it, I could have told you if you would have, you know, if I knew what it looked like that it would have, wouldn't, and I have said it was not going to work because first of all, everybody's allowed to be bought off. I mean, in what rational country do you call it a democracy when people are being bought, when everything's being bought, all of these votes are being bought. And, and if you don't vote right, you're at risk of um, something bad happening. And plus they spy on everybody all the time. You don't have freedom of speech. You don't have any kind of transparency of anything. There's no accountability really because they, if they don't, if they go back on their word, who's going to say anything? It's a completely totalitarian situation, as far as I can tell. And to whatever extent they have checks and balances, they are all allowed to be bought off without ever any consequence. It's just like, so that's not going to work to the benefit of anybody except the wealthy people who have the ability to buy everyone off. I don't have access to that kind of wealth. The only people that have access to that kind of wealth are people who've been accumulating wealth by participating in an assassination system. So that's why I'm saying the people that can do, <laughs> you know, the people that can stop this need to stop it. Like you really freaking need to stop this. Everything else aside, you need to stop it. And there's all the mandate in the world to stop it. For civil servants, there is. You take an oath to support the Constitution. This is unconstitutional. I've described how it is obviously unconstitutional. It's not fair. It's not even in the spirit of equality. It's creating an extremely dangerous situation, not just for human lives, but for the world. And, you know, if they wanted to be fair, it might have been one thing, but they don't want to be fair. 